Welcome to this week's weekly challenges in Grand Rhythm 7. So we have five events to complete to win three brand new prizes, which consists of a six star roulette ticket for parts, a credit ticket for 150,000 credits, and lastly, a six star roulette ticket for a car. So we have six star roulette tickets and 150,000 credits coming our way. So prizes this week, really good. Now let's look at the events. So First things first, we have a European Sunday Cup 500 around Eidger Nordwind. Now, I know a lot of people aren't happy about the circuit being used every week, but hey, this is not that long of an event. So, for this event, it's going to be three laps. You are starting off in 10 position. Your car has to be a road car and it has to be from either the United Kingdom, Germany, France, Italy, Switzerland, Austria, the Czech Republic. It, from just Europe in general. And the vehicle that I use for this event was the, the Renault Megan RS Trophy 2011. Now, what I will say about this event and using this vehicle, it was very competitive. Like I was racing up until the last corner before I made it into first position. It really got the blood pumping and it really made me push the Megan as hard as possible. And it was a really enjoyable event. And considering this is how we starting off the week, this is a good sign for the week ahead. Then for the second event, we have an American Clubman Cup around Daytona road course. So for this event, it's four laps around Daytona. We have ourselves starting off in 12th position. We can either use a vehicle that's a road car or professionally tuned, but it has to be from the United States. For this event, I jumped into my Ford Focus RS, which just so happens to have an engine swap in it. And coming in at just under 700 performance points this vehicle felt so overpowered i mean look the recommendation points for this event is 700 performance points but this ford focus absolutely ran away from second place and this is with the game being on the hardest difficulty yes the ford focus rs is honestly a cheat code for this event and it made absolute mincemeat and i think it was a lot more overpowered than I needed it to be. So, look, this event, I don't think it was as fun as the first event, and that's just due to my car choice being a bit too overpowered. And talking about overpowered, we have to look at the third event, which is our special event, and it sees us taking part in a one make race around Tokyo Expressway is clockwise. Now this is a layer with a massive straightaway and with us having to use the Lamborghini Gallardo LP560-4 well if you're, Gallo, if you're Gallardo I know look I said it correctly so if your Gallardo is fully upgraded uh, it's gonna be an absolute weapon it's gonna be a handful and it's a car that will try to analyze you so it is something you do need to pay attention to, but you can sit listening fast lap times. I think my fastest lap time was a 1 minute 32 second lap. So these four laps are gonna fly by extremely quickly. And with this event, there's no penalties for wall grinding, corner cutting. So if you wanna cheese this event and just grind all along the walls, you can do exactly that. There's nothing stopping you from doing that, or you can do it properly. It's completely up to you. Then, for the fourth event, we have a Schwartz World League. This is around Catalonia circuit. We have a restriction of 700 performance points or less. The vehicle has to be from Germany, and with it being a seven lap event, it is quite a lengthy event. So for this event, I jumped into my engine swap BMW M4, and it was an absolute breeze. The BMW M4 is great down straightways, around corners, on the braking. It's just a fantastic vehicle, and it's just such a pleasure to drive, and it made this event even more enjoyable. It made the seven laps fly by with absolute ease, 
it's not extremely overpowered but you are not gonna struggle with this vehicle around this event so that's why i like using the bmw m4 and frankly it's just an amazing engine swap and then lastly we have a world touring car 800 around watkins glen now this event this was actually the first time i participated in it and it was honestly not that bad now the vehicle of choice was the jaguar xjr9 which okay look it's a gr1 car that's been downgraded so yes it is gonna be it's gonna be very good look i jumped into the event i started off on fuel map level 4 and i noticed that i wasn't really closing the gap in on the opponents as much as i'd like to and i saw i was gonna have way more fuel than i needed so what i did was just drop the fuel map down to fuel map level 3 and i ran it there for the entire event well for the rest of the event and with the vehicle being on racing hard tires i did not go into a pit a single time however the ai that i was a seconds needed to pit so that guaranteed me a lot of time to make up if i was far behind but that's the thing i was not i was sitting the fastest lap times around the circuit it was just easy and one thing i can say compared to last week's events with the neoclassical challenge which gave me a real uphill battle this week's challenges are very plain very simple very easy to do if you want to use op cars you can do it if you want to use competitive vehicles you can do it and still have a lot of fun for me this week my favorite event was a special event around tokyo expressway using a lamborghini gallardo against similarly matched lamborghinis it's fun it's a genuine pumping and you are going to be able to go over 400 kilometers per hour so that was fun but hey let me know what your favorite event is in the comment section down below and with this being said i will catch you guys in the next video peace